With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A weightless, inextensible row rests on a stationary wedge forming an angle alpha with the horizontal. One end of the raw rope is fixed to the wall to point A and a small load is attached to the rope at end B. The wedge starts moving to right with a constant acceleration A. The acceleration of the load is given by. So if you see the acceleration of this block with respect to wedge, if you calculate, if you see let's say I put an observer here and uh, let's say this length is L and this length is L2. So the total length will remain constant, right? So what you will do, you will make this plus this is equals to constant. And uh, if you differentiate it both side, it will be zero. And uh, double differential will also be zero. From here, you will get the rate with which the L1 is increasing is also the rate with which the L2 is increasing. L2 is decreasing. So, if you see here, the L1 is increasing with a rate of A1 because it this pulley is also moving with this wedge with acceleration A. So, we will write down here uh, A is equals to minus A simple so with respect to this pulley uh, with wedge, uh, with respect to this wedge it will be moving up by an acceleration this now if i write down the acceleration of the block with respect to the uh, wedge i will write down acceleration of the block with respect to ground it will be acceleration of the block with respect to wedge plus acceleration of the wedge so we have to add the acceleration of the block in this so if you see the acceleration of the wedge is at an angle alpha and acceleration of the block is a here and this angle will be pi minus alpha if you see this angle is alpha so this angle will be pi minus alpha so we, we can write down the summation of the two vector by using the formula i will write down the a net is equals to under root of we know that it is a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta so i will write down a square plus a square plus 2a square cos of pi minus alpha right so it will be 2a square if you take 2a square common it will be 1 minus cos alpha right so we know that uh, if i write down 1 minus cos alpha it is 2 sin square alpha by 2 right so you can just put it and uh, we will write down it is 2a sin alpha by 2 now you can check for the option 2a sin alpha by 2 so this is inside the bracket c is the correct thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today